Good morning, my precious, beautiful nurse. I wish I could have woken up to your beautiful face this morning. I'm really going to try to get a lot done today, precious. The first thing we want to do is insulate as much of the floor in your closet. Then go do the drug screen for work. Stop the tear down house and back up some more insulation. Then, when I get back again, I think I'm going to frame up the first part of the floor to the back deck. The better we get along, the more I'm able to get done because my head is clear and it makes me want to hurry up and get more done before you get here. I miss you so fucking much, it sucks. I'm sorry for all the drama I caused of being sick last night and I'm so anxious to spend time with you. You're everything to me and I love you. I have to insulate your claws in a different way for this winter, honey. Then I can insulate it the way I actually want to next summer. Honey, I'm thinking that maybe we should get a cat to help keep the mice away. What do you think? I tried it once, but your dog wanted to eat the cat. I'm at the teardown house, honey. I just scooped up the last of the blown insulation in this first room. Got a total of 44 trash bags full. Four more rooms to clean up of just blown insulation. I went and did my drug test for ready for the job, too. No cats. Lol. Yes, dear. Gonna send you a pic. Hang on. I got curious. I wanted to see what was behind the walls. Maybe some place in our teardown house. I'll find some cash in the walls. That would be nice. I found this in another room. Now I'm gonna make a mess. I got one wall of plaster off and a little from the ceiling, bot. It's too dusty, and that shovel doesn't work good. I'm voting, honey. Good. I voted, my love. I had to stop getting insulation from the Charon house, because my little shovel broke. I hope you're having a good day, precious. I love you. Thanks. You too. Hi, honey. Hello. How are you? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. You didn't know it was me? No. 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 Yeah. Yeah, Will's phone. I figured you're probably going to be calling me. What are you doing? Oh, sorry. I was going to in a few. No. I what was you just doing? chatting. No. I see. What'd you do today? What were you doing? Just watching Big Bang Theory, waiting to talk to you. What'd you do today? What did you do after you voted? Uh, I came home and put insulation underneath your closet. Some insulation. And then, then I moved some stuff around in the yard. And then I came in, fed the dogs, and put the chickens in. And sat down so I was watching the news. Who oh, needs? What would you do today? Carter came over and we hung out. Carter came over and you hung out? Yeah. I see. What'd you do hanging out? Uh -huh. He kept showing me how much he can bench press. Oh, yeah. Why was he showing it's you impressive. that? 
why was he showing you that? I asked him to show me. No. Why, do you want to try it? Because I heard him and were talking about it. Did you try it? No. Why not? Who showed him up? I was just admiring. Oh, I see. Well, that sucks. We haven't been talking much, and now we don't have much to talk about. How much can you bench press? Well, when I was 18, I could bench press, bench press 310. No, no. Now I have no idea. I haven't done it in a long time. Take a guess. Oh, I don't know, now probably maybe 250, 275 maybe. All right, how much was he bench pressing? Carter could bench press me easily. Huh? Carter could bench press me easily. Okay. That sounded weird. That much weight. Did we'll try it? To bench press me. Huh? To bench press me. Did we'll try bench pressing? You asked, did we'll try this? Yeah, try it. Try bench pressing. No. No. I thought he might try it. So what else did you do today? Just hung out. And chatted. No. Doesn't sound like a very busy day. What, honey? Go get a... Go get a condom. Right now? We can't talk for a little bit. Seems like we don't, haven't talked much at all. What? We can't talk a little bit first? Seems like we haven't talked at all. For very much at all. What do you want to talk about? Okay, I, I want to spend time with you. We haven't been spending time together. It sucks. You used Who to call me at seven. For? I can't tell you that. What I can. Do you want you to talk about? I don't care, honey. I want to spend time with you. You used to call me at seven thirty-five. Now you don't do that. We used to chat something during the day, and we barely do that. I 
I missed you like crazy last night, but I was so fucking sick I couldn't do anything. I almost feel like you don't want to spend time with me anymore. Your birthday present, that still hasn't got here. If you want to talk about something, then start a conversation. Well, I'm trying to. It was like I gotta walk on pins and needles because no. you get upset. It was like I walk on pins and needles because you get upset if I ask you what you did today. What? So it's like I gotta walk on pins and needles if I ask you what you did today. I just answered that question. Well, I know, but I mean, you you said that to me before about me asking you what you did today. And then what? I was like. Huh? Then what are you talking about? Because you said it to me before that I asked you what you what you do that day, and it's uh, just so I can so we can have conversations. Because you accuse me of cheating. I'm not accusing you of cheating, honey. What did you do today? Uh, you already know what I did today. I'm mad at the, at the charity. Some shit from the internet? Okay, let's not go back there. That, that, that was a week ago. Over a week ago. That wasn't. <clears throat> I know, but we don't want to go back there again. That was a few days ago. Well, okay, but we don't want to go back there, though. Much rather move you just forward. asked why I did that. No, I know. There's your answer. My bad. My bad, my bad. I, I got upset at the teardown house today. I went... Why? I, I started scooping up the blown insulation. And my shovel was working fine. I have a little shovel so I can hold it in the hand in, in one hand and and then put the blown insulation in the bag and do it easily. Well, I've had that little shovel for quite a while and I went to scoop up one scoop and the whole shovel fell apart. So I was like, Well fuck <laughs> So I I had to just use the shovel part of it that the scoop part of it finish that bag and so I only got like five bags of insulation is insulation the heavy? Down. huh is insulation heavy no it's really light well it's only 13 gallon trash bags that I'm using to put it in because that way I can I can tie it up and and it won't blow out so I put it in that, and I throw it down, and I throw it out the window, down into the truck. And, but I only got five bags worth before I couldn't shovel up any more because it was my shovel bill. That's why I started picking it apart at the at the plaster on the walls and got it, saw the saw behind it, and I was like, I got interested in what was behind it. So, so I I got to. Well, I don't know if you can see in the picture or not, but there's one part where there's was there's a symbol there where they used to have a stove in that room. So I was like, I wonder what else behind that. So I kept tearing it apart. Then I found another shovel and a long handle, but it was didn't work good taking the plaster off. So I got to get a different shovel to take the plaster off. But there's a lot of money in that house with all the wood. So, there's money we're definitely in the house. having. There's, in the wood, just the wood, because there's so many boards there. Uh, they're all they're all really good boards, so there'd be plenty of boards to build, you, build your horse barn. I'm bored. Uh huh? The boards. The boards. 
boards to build a house with. You know, you have two by fours, two by sixes, two by eights. Then you have bomb. boards. Huh? The horse barn. Yeah, there's plenty of plenty of lumber there to build the, your horse barn. Horse barn. There's plenty of good lumber there to build your horse barn. And it can be a big one, too. MJ blended me chicken soup. She's the best. She made you chicken soup? How's your swallowing going? Homemade. Blended. Well, good. The same. I'm so sick. Can't, so, huh? I'm sick. You're sick? What do you mean you're sick? I don't feel good. What happened? I woke up and was worse. How'd you get sick? I don't know. Sick with cold sick? Yes, but my lungs hurt again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Not such a good idea going to that game then, huh? What? It wasn't such a good idea going to that game then, did it, was it? I are. Huh? I are. Still didn't understand you, honey. I weren't. I know you weren't. Said it wasn't such a good idea to go to that game. Yet it was. Why, so you can wind up sick? We won. Real tight, bro. So, when are you going to start looking up after yourself better so you can come up here with me? When are you going to start looking after yourself better so you can come up here with me? That was supposed to be the whole reason that you went down there. Huh? Lorne, it was worth it, okay? It was what? Lorne, it was worth it, okay? It it was worth it? Getting sick was worth it? I mean, you're supposed to be down there to be getting better. All you're doing is partying. I flashed Nick Saban, and they won. No. No, I know. He flashed 25,000 people. You're supposed to be going to, you're supposed to be down there so you can get better. You're supposed to be going down there so you can get better. But all you're doing is partying. Was I on TV? I don't know. I didn't see. I only saw a very small part. Did you see Carter? No, I didn't see Carter. I don't need to see Carter. I don't have the hots for Carter. I don't need to see him. What? I don't. I don't have the hots for Carter. I don't need to see Carter. What a weird statement. No, oh, why, oh, why do I want to see him? I don't care about seeing him. I care about seeing you. Because he's my friend. Well, still, but... Lord. The only one, 
The only one I care about seeing is you. What, honey? He stepped and jacked. Yeah, that's good. Why are you doing so much partying down there? Because. Because you don't want to feel better? You only have one life to live. Yeah, but don't you want to live some of it with me? I thought you did. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll love in a bubble for you. You what? Right, sorry, I'll live in a bubble for you. I'm not saying live in a bubble, honey. But sure. going 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 to a game with twenty five thousand people, that's that's quite a bit not in a bubble. I know you want to have fun. I'm not against you having fun. I'm against you getting sick. Your mold and smoke filled trailer is going to help my get better. Well, for one, there's no mold. For two, I'm not going to be smoking in here when you're here. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Everything's being taken out and brand new stuff is being put in. When you're here, I'm not going to be smoking in here. Brand new from the dump. No, no. Jesus Christ. Whatever. Said you wanted to come be with me. God forbid I did one thing. Um, yeah, but you're, you're partying all the time. What? You're partying all the time. How do you expect to get better when you party no, all not. the time? How many days have you gone without having a drink? Plenty. Every time I turn around, you're talking about having a drink and partying. Every time I turn around, you are accusing me of cheating. Oh, well, not now. Not anymore. Okay, that's my excuse then. Come on, honey. I just want I you to get better. I just want you to get better and come up here with me. I heard you. Just want you to get better and come up here with me. I want us to start living our life together. Right, you act like I don't want to get better. 
Um, well, I know you want to get better, but but you also know that when you go out to events like that, uh, there's a chance you're going to get sick. And there's a good chance. And that being the hot spot for coronavirus, the whole country is a hot spot. No, it isn't. There's like 38 states that are. Maine's one of them that's not. Right. Well, watch the news and look on the news. You'll be able to see the states that aren't. All total, Maine has had a, a, a total of 6,000 cases. How many There's people like, does it take to get someone sick? It only takes one. But that's why Maine has been so cautious. Exactly. That's why Maine has been so cautious. Who is it? Yeah. We haven't even opened up the bars yet. They're opening up, opening up bars on on uh, November 2nd. But, the, but there's rules that they have to follow, too. That's why you rarely wear a mask. That's that's why I do wow. Well, I live in a place that, that there's I think twenty nine people that have corona no, not even twenty I think it's nineteen that have coronavirus. Mm. They're all in they're all in the hospital and getting and recovering. The, I had I asked you well, what blood type you were before for for a reason because they said on on T V that blood type O uh, is, is less likely to get coronavirus. Do you know what blood type you are? My blood type? Yeah. A negative. A negative? Uh, I'm, I'm O positive. A negative, I think. No, I can give blood to you if I need to. I can give blood to anybody except for I think it's A B A B negative, I think. So I'd be able to give blood to you. Why are you thinking about giving me blood? I'm just just saying that. I was wondering if if you were the one blood type that I can't give blood to. The one the one blood type that I can give blood to, I think, is AB negative. You know, hospitals I, have blood banks, right? I do. I give blood sometimes. Are you afraid vampires will drink it all? Nope. Just, just trying to check, honey, because if you ever need blood, then I've, I've got you covered. But so does the hospital. Yeah, I know. I give blood to them sometimes. I should I probably should give blood to them more often. When was the last time? <laughs> oh, I think I think it was like five months ago. Maybe it was four months ago. The Red Cross was there for when blood you were donation. Freshly out of prison. Huh? When you were freshly out of prison. 
No, I you know, get out of get out of there in February. You and I were already together. I, you know, I never didn't tell you about me stopping by there to do it because I, I went there for what the hell did I go there for? I went there for something. And Red Cross was there anyway. And they wanted blood donations, so so I donated blood. Why didn't you tell I, me? I don't know. It, it was just a fluke thing that I, I think I told you when I went to the hospital. I don't. I don't, I don't think I told you that I that I gave blood that day. It just, it just didn't cross my mind to tell you. You tell me when you leave and arrive places. That didn't cross your mind though. Yeah. I told you that I was at the hospital. <laughs> I even told you the reason why I was at the hospital, but I can't remember the reason why I was at the hospital now. Oh, I, I think it was because when I um, had that problem with my leg. I think yeah, that's why I was at the hospital. When's the last time you gave blood? Don't remember. Did you go to the hospital when you realized that you were sick? No. Today? You just started feeling sick today? I'm fighting it with MJ Sue. You're what? You're I'm fighting, fighting it with MJ Sue. MJ Sue. Oh. Well, hopefully that'll do the trick. I'm, I'm worried now. Nobody else got sick? She put some brussy juice in there. Yeah, I, I doubt it. <laughs> Nobody else gets sick, just you? Yeah. Your immune system's down pretty low. Thanks, Doctor. Well, I'm stating the obvious. Do they have something you can take to help your immune system? Why is that not obvious? Uh, well, because you're the only one who gets sick out of, out of all of you that went. Is this something that you can take to help your immune system? If you can talk to your doctor about it or something. <laughs> I don't know. Hi, honey. What happened? You tell me. Oh, must have been my service. All I heard was beep, and you weren't there. And I went back in and yeah. called you. Went back in your closet and pressed the button to call you again.
and the phone sounds far away or echoey maybe a little echoey what? your phone sounds, sounds either far away or echoey you got the fan on what does it might be what like this is like there's an echo Okay. What are you doing? Laying in bed. No. Why? You got the you got the fan on? No. Huh. Oh, huh, it just sounds echoey. So what else you do today? What's with the questions, my God? The phone isn't as close. Can we close the investigation now? What investigation? See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I don't... The whole sense of me asking you what you did today when you just give me a third degree. I already answered what I did today. Well, just... Thought I'd ask you, see if you did anything else. I can uh, ask questions, I thought. Oh, wow. Thought you, thought you might have done more. How should I know I'm not there? Just trying to be part of your life. I'm sorry that's a sin. Because I said I didn't. No. Sorry it's a sin for trying to be part of your life. Did you vote twice? Nope. Just once. Who'd you vote for? Oh, did you vote a third time? Nope. Just once. I voted for... Uh, as much as I bit my tongue doing it. I really didn't want neither one of them were worth voting for. I voted for Trump just because of the economy. I really didn't like voting for him either. And I voted for Saren, uh, for Susan Collins, and and I, I don't even know who the other ones were. But there's only like they, they weren't even running against anyone. Just one name on the. On the thing, it was like a list of six six different ones, I think. They're just for separate areas of the state. Neat. Representatives and stuff. Who'd you vote for? Not saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> You don't have to if you don't want to. That's your choice, honey. So how come you don't want a cat? I know. That's why I said it. So why don't you want a cat? Because I'm allergic. Oh. Oh, that's a good reason. That's a really good reason. Now, I get a question for you. What? What are you going to do when I uh, when I tell you that I've got all sheetrock in, in the house? What? 
said, well, what are you going to do when I tell you that I've got all sheetrock in the house? I'll say, what? <laughs> You'll say, what? <laughs> what does that even mean? I just want, want you won't be able to say anything about mold. Well, even though there's no mold in here now because I've taken it all out already. So you do have mold? Did have, don't anymore. But the mold I took out a long time ago. Yeah, this place was a, a mess when I first moved in. God, friggin' terrible. Have you had an expert confirm that? Nope. Nope, I haven't. I gotta get some more sheet rock though. I got like five more sheets. And I gotta hang up. And I don't know, bug about another twenty sheets and I'll be in uh have it all done. All the sea rock in here. In the in the house. But then when I put the addition on I'll have to have more flare and in the addition to the to our bedroom too. Honey, do you get bored talking to me? I said, do you get bored talking to me? Yes. Oh, well, that's nice. That's, you asked. Well, that's why you um, haven't wanted to spend time with me then. <laughs> Great. Well, I don't want to bore you, so if you want to get and off the, the phone... The way you was, and I've told you this multiple times. Huh? You what? No, the way you were treating was why I didn't want to talk to you. And I've told you this multiple times, but you have to blame something other than you. Well, I'm trying to get us back. You accused uh, me of cheating for a week. I know, and I'm sorry. I just want us to get back to the way we, that we were. Right, why would we? Why would we get back to the way we were? Because we love each other? That could be a reason. Because we want things to be better? Not sure I do. You're not sure that you love me? After the way you treated me this past week, Honey, I'm I'm sorry about that. There's nothing I can say. If you say you don't love me, Someone there's not a goddamn thing. Doesn't do that. Well, 
you know, the, it, it's not easy with us right now. It hasn't been easy for us from day one. Change your tone. Well, it's upsetting. It hasn't been easy from no, for us from day one. On cheating for a week isn't. Is what? Oh, right, being accused of cheating for a week isn't. Well, I know it is. Right. But it's all about you. No, it's not all about me. It's just not, it's not easy. You know, I, I want you here with me so bad, and sometimes it feels like you don't even even want to be here. When you treat me the way you do, why would I? I don't want to be like that with you. I don't want to be like that with you at all. I hate that I did that. No, I was. I'm not now. You have been consistently for months. No, that's over. Said that before. See, but when I say that, you say that. that. That's what you say. Last time you said it was the last time. want us to be together. Can I go play Donkey Kong? Well, for Christ's sakes, well, might as well, you don't, you get bored spending time with me anyway. Have a good night. Why are you mad? You say you don't know if you love me, and you get bored spending time with me, and you would rather play Donkey Kong than spend any time with your fiance. Should I be happy about that? You have Will's phone, so you're more interested in spending time with someone else. No, I'm not saying you're cheating. Just saying it sucks. Because I miss you. And our time we've always spent together. Guess I'm alone on that though. Do you think we have good entertaining conversations? Instead of you calling me back like you used to, you're texting me. That sucks. I think we need to start concentrating on each other again. Instead of you on Donkey Kong and me on being an ass. Whether our conversations are entertaining or not, we still need time together. I had more stuff I wanted to tell you, but your mind is on Donkey Kong. Then why didn't you say them, instead of asking me what I did today for the third time? Because when I ask you that, I try to put myself there with you in my mind, so that I can feel closer to you, honey. Even if we're not saying anything to each other, we're on the phone, at least we're trying to be a part of each other's lives. Like the yard sale or mom's birthday. I thought you would want to be on the phone with me for more than 30 minutes, like we always have. We were on longer than 30 minutes, and you hung up. We used to be on for over two hours, sometimes longer. You've put me in the back seat, and Donkey Kong in the front seat. Fucking sad. So fucking sad. I hung up because you didn't want to talk to me anymore. You wanted to play Donkey Kong. I think it's great that you found something you're interested in to help pass the time, but it's making our time together suffer. I didn't expect that to happen. Right, so instead of saying I have more to say, you hang up and then text it. You don't talk about shows with me anymore, or hardly anything because you've consumed yourself with Donkey Kong. Hell, you didn't even press having phone sex. And that's really not normal for you. If I would have had said I had more to say, 
you still would have not heard me because you're so concentrated on Donkey Kong. The reason we're texting now is because you didn't want to be on the phone with me. You wanted Donkey Kong. That royally sucks when I've been looking forward to spending time with my fiance all day. There's nothing I can do if you don't want to spend time with me. And I wonder if Donkey Kong is writing songs for you and telling you he loves you. Fucking sad. So fucking sad. And I no longer like monkeys because now I don't even have your attention. Donkey Kong does. I even bored you through text. What the fuck ever? Apparently you no longer use Will's phone to talk to me. It's for Donkey Kong now. Great idea going to Nashville. Fucking sad. So fucking sad. You are blaming Nashville on Donkey Kong? Did you forget you hung up? You didn't want to be on the phone with me. You wanted Donkey Kong. Even over us having phone sex. Tell me that's not messed up. You hung up. You didn't want me. You wanted Donkey Kong. I'm going to bed. Regardless if you're still in love with me or not, I'm still in love with you. Even though you're letting Donkey Kong steal you from me. Fucking sad. So fucking sad. I wonder if Donkey Kong would build you a walk-in closet and a house the way you want it and to share his life with you like I do. Fucking sad. So fucking sad. Do you still have my poster on your wall or did you replace it with Donkey Kong's? Fucking sad. So fucking sad. You hung up. You could have called me back if you really wanted time with me like you used to. You wanted Donkey Kong even more than phone sex. What's that tell you? Those two picks are what I want for the rest of my life. Is it still what you want? Or do you plan on spending your life with Donkey Kong? Fucking sad. So fucking sad. You hung up. You're still texting me and giving our time to Donkey Kong. You hung up. I remember back when you were in hospital, you told me you were going to try harder to get better so that we could be together. What happened with that? Could it be that the partying and good times has gotten in the way of what you really want your life to be and the plans we've made together? And now even the internet and Donkey Kong is even in the way of our life together. Says the guy who has promised things time after time and broke them. The guy who said he's changed but acts the same. You want to lecture me about my choices of drinking a couple times? All I want is you and us. I don't give a flying bird's butt hole about anything else or anyone else. My future revolves around what I want to do with and for you before I'm dead in 50 years. And yes, that number may be a little high. Shut up and let me have that, lol. See that pillow? It's anxiously waiting your beautiful, precious face. Chop, chop. The more I know you're trying hard to get here, the faster I'll work to get the inside of our house done. Hello, my love. Let it all out. Say what? So what is your issue with Donkey Kong? Let it all out. Well, Donkey Kong's got all of mine and your time. And hell, we we barely even text each other today. I, I was looking forward to being able to talk to you tonight. And unfortunately, you wanted Donkey Kong more than you wanted me. Said, unfortunately, you wanted Donkey Kong more than you wanted me. You hung up. Honey, that's... Uh, that's not... That's not even a reason, because you used to call me back. Yes, it is. You hung even up. Even if I am... You said you didn't... You said you wanted to play Donkey Kong. You didn't want to talk to me. You wanted Donkey Kong. So I mean, whatever. That was upsetting, disappointing. It used to be you'd call me right back. And 
and would want to spend the time with me. So what is all this business about Donkey Kong posters? <laughs> well, it's how much you get your attention on Donkey Kong. So I just wanted to just trade my poster for Donkey Kong poster. <laughs> What if I did? I was being... Well, right now it wouldn't surprise me. <clears throat> did you? What if I did? It wouldn't surprise me. Did you? Are you playing Donkey Kong right now? Right? Are you going to tell me more about how Donkey Kong is ruining us or what? Well, we don't have any time together. You gonna say that's not because of Donkey Kong? And I miss you. I really want to get the inside of this house done before you get here, but so you're like I've, been, uh, I've known that you're not not trying as hard as what you were before. Shut That's up. Why, you know what? Well, you're not. I'm not going to lie to you and say that you are. You're not. You're getting relaxed there and you're having fun and you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that you know, I want me and you to have a life together. Clearly there is. Well, there's nothing wrong with you having fun. It's just look at you Clearly now, you're sick is. again. Well, there's nothing wrong with having fun. It's just look Clearly at you now, is. you're sick again. You're sick again. So what? See what's wrong with it? Do you remember back when you were in the hospital and you said you were going to tell me you were going to try harder so we could be together? Hey, Lauren, remember when you told me you were going to change? Yeah, well, that, that's here. Sometimes it takes time and it had my last lesson. I don't want to lose you, and I don't want to be there. Remember how many like times that. I'd say if it happens again, I'd be done. I know. But you must love me, and you must believe in me. So why should I stick around after the 100th time? Because you love me, and you believe in me, and you want us to happen. I told you tonight I don't think I do. You don't think you love me? No. Really? Well, what do you want me to say to that, Jamie? I you want me to say that you're going to... You want me to say that you're going to stay loving me because you're down there in fucking Nashville? Having a fucking party time with all these fucking people. I mean, you're fucking trading me in for goddamn Donkey Kong now. What the fuck? Not the if reason you don't why. care why. If you don't care what the why the fuck should I?
What? So you bitch, I'm on the phone and you hang up. Jamie, you said you don't fucking care. You said you said you don't think you're in love with me. Well, no you fucking you wonder. Why would I love you? Your, your goddamn ass is down there around fucking Maggie Joe, the bitch that won't shut her fucking mouth about me. Then you get fucking Will right there fucking saying all kinds of shit, too, that you should break up with me and all this fucking shit. He's got his head shoved up your goddamn ass. He has been up your fucking ass since we've been together, Jamie. Give me a fucking break. What the fuck kind of bullshit is that? That is nothing but a fucking joke. A major fucking joke. His wife fucking divorces him and he takes off fucking all across country with you. Stays right fucking there. His head is up your ass the whole time you're in the hospital. Before you're even in the fucking hospital. You're sleeping fucking next to him. When his wife is sleeping on the other side of you. Your fucking password is his goddamn name. Where does the fucking retarded bullshit stop? Are you fucking kidding me? Don't try to fucking tell me why I've had all these fucking problems when you've got horse shit like that going on. And then there's fucking Kaido. Well, Kaido was there and we were hanging out. He was looking. He can fucking bench press me. He had his shirt off at the game. I went to a fucking game with 25,000 fucking people. But I can't go to fucking Maine to see my fiance. Are you fucking kidding me? Don't blame this shit all on me. Look at what you're fucking doing. Fucking drinking and partying all the goddamn time. No wonder you're fucking sick. But Maggie Joe is so goddamn great, she knows everything. Fuck her. Make up your mind and tell me tomorrow whether or not you fucking love me. Then Don't we can talk. talk. about them like that. What? Don't talk about them like that. I'll fucking talk about them like that. All they're doing is fucking talking shit about me. Fuck them. I don't need to fucking hear their stupid bullshit. They think you're, they're your fucking parents, for Christ's sakes. You put my fucking poster up, Will walks in and fucking tears it down like he fucking, he's your fucking dad. Who the fuck do you think he is? Then he gets on and tells me how fucking wrong I am about shit and fucking throws out thousand fucking questions and nosy as hell. I don't need any fucking bullshit in my life. You might want it in your life, but you don't have to be in my fucking life. I'm not, I'm not fucking marrying you for him. And don't disrespect Donkey Kong. Well, fuck Donkey Kong, too. It's obvious you love Donkey Kong more than you love me, because God knows you've been giving all your fucking time to Donkey Kong the last week and a half. What? I've never played a fucking game with you at all, Jamie. I've been upset many times because my feelings are involved with you. I don't like feeling like I'm being fucked with by anyone because my feelings are so involved with you. My concentration is on you only because I'm marrying you. So you're number one to me. I don't you expect to be like put shit. next to... Why would I love you? I don't expect to be put next to fucking Donkey Kong or next to fucking Will or next to fucking Maggie Joe. I'm your fucking fiance. I expect you to put you first, then me. Me, I put Me, I put you first, then me. 
Get a grip. I'm not fucking. I'm not fucking getting over it. Get a That's grip. That's the way life is. That's the way life is. When you fucking marry someone, grip. I've I've got a fucking grip. You don't want me to have friends. Oh no, I want you to have friends. I don't want your fucking friends trying to get in between us. That's I know goddamn well that's what Maggie Joel's trying to fucking do. She's been trying to do that since fucking day one. She's got a goddamn issue. That's her fucking problem, not mine. Because you treat me like shit, they should continue no. to let you. No. No, Maggie Joel just has a fucking problem because she thinks she knows everything. She thinks she's fucking God's gift to the fucking world. She don't mean shit to me. The only thing I'm thankful for her for is for live, allowing you to stay there. The problem with you staying there is it's all become a fucking party. So you've forgotten all about your fucking health and it's just become a fucking party. You don't know that. Jamie, every other night you're fucking drinking. Then you go to a fucking football no, game with 25,000 people. No, I'm not. Well, that's in the fucking hot spot of the country, and no, that's I'm supposed not. to be healthy. That's, that's supposed to be looking out for your health, going to a fucking football game with 25,000 people in a hot spot of the country. They're not going to fucking tell me how perfect they are when they're not. They're not going to tell me how much they're looking out for you when they take you to a football game with 25,000 people. So why do you want me then, if you think my priorities are wrong? Because I love you, Jamie. We've been together eight fucking months. I've fallen in love with you. It didn't take very fucking long for that to happen. And I've been in love with you ever since. They forced me to go to the game. Please, oh wise one, tell me more about my life as you watch from Maine. No, I can imagine that they forced you. I can understand you wanting to go, but you also have to think, is it the best idea for you to go? Fuck off. Of course. Fuck off because I'm right on it? God forbid I'd be right on something. You are dead wrong. Of course. I love you, and I want, I'm making a life for me and you. That's what I'm working towards. That's why I started fucking doing this house up the way you wanted it, because I want you to be fucking happy with it. I chose to go moron. It's called free will. Only you say stupid yeah. shit like I didn't want to go. I just fucking said that. I just said I know you wanted to go, but you had to stop and think, was it, is it the best idea to go? I don't give a shit. I wanted to go, so I did. <laughs> yeah, okay. You wanted it to go, so you did, but now you're sick. Oh, well. Oh, well, how's that going to affect your fucking lungs? It's not going to work a miracle for them. Worth it. It's not going to get you better. It's not going to get you better. Worth it. Ooh, worth it, yeah. Yeah, that's real worth it. It's going to make me sick, and I won't be able to be with my fiancé, but it's worth it. Go to Flash Nick Saban. 
No, I know. Other 25,000 people that have seen these tits and, that I've never seen. Including Carter. He may have snuck a peek, I don't know. Oh, I'm quite positive he did. How could he not? Especially it seems how like you were standing right next to him. He saw side boobs probably... for sure. Oh, I'm positive he did. When I would be if I if I went somewhere with a with a female and and whip my pecker out just because I wanted to flash someone. Did she laugh? Never done it. I've got more respect for my fiance than that. Charge, you wouldn't be whipping your dick out anywhere. Exactly. Yeah, I won't. And I wouldn't even without my charge. So I wouldn't it has do nothing it. to do with me. Even without my charge, I wouldn't do it. But especially when I have a fiance, I wouldn't do it. Sure. Sure. You treat me like garbage all the time. Every time I turn around and you expect someone to just keep loving you through that. Jamie, you know the horse shit that I've been through already with fucking being played with on the internet. With Winnie, with Emma, with all that fucking horse shit. You think Back that I... Uh, uh, I would think... Yeah, well... Oh, fucking well... I think that you know that with the horseshit that goes on with you and Will, and that kind of bullshit is going to affect me. Didn't your stupid song say you don't live in the past anymore? Yeah, well, I don't want to live in the fucking past. But Jesus Christ, you're doing the same fucking kind of shit. And now you are bitching about Donkey Kong. Well, there's something about Donkey Kong that you seem to love. Never seen somebody be so much into a fucking game that they'd ignore the fiance for it. Or blow the fiance off for it. Oh, so I haven't changed that all lawn. You asking me you about you or that. me? What? Oh, so I haven't changed that all lawn. You or me? Are you... I'm saying I'm all wrong. Yeah, you've you've changed, yeah. The fucking no, thing is, I hadn't. the fucking thing is, is it, it, it's something new every time you turn around, Jamie. Oh, but you just said I hadn't. You do something new Never. every time you turn around, and it's happened all all through our relationship. It's happened. 
All this horse shit with Will? Seriously? What with Will? The, the being so okay with him seeing you naked all the time. The fucking the password. Oh, since I haven't changed the whole. Oh no 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 no. Not getting him in on our conversation. Hello. Hey, Will. What's up? Have I ever told you about your BBD? The hell is that? The hell is that? Lauren, tell him. Oh, is Lauren here? Hey, Lauren. Hey, Will. It's Will. What's BBD? Tell him what? Oh, big beautiful dick, Jamie. Seriously? Oh, thanks, Jamie. Is that all you needed? Jesus. You have to get your sweet ass out of here. Oh my. I haven't changed. Figured I'd go back to the past lawn. Wink wink. Jamie. What's the dildo that you have? I have two of them. Exactly. Lawn. What? Carter is jacked and stacked. He put me on his shoulder when we tailgated at the game. Of course. Of course. What? Of course he put you on his shoulder at the game. Why wouldn't he? Chance for him to get closer to you. I was like, I'm so tall, how could you? He looked me in my eyes and said, I got you, bro. I wasn't going to let him at first. Jamie, if you're six feet tall, why do you need to be on his shoulders anyway? I wasn't wearing pantries, but oh well, shit happens. You wasn't you wasn't wearing panties. Was you wearing a skirt? Huh? Yeah, crimson color roll tight, bro. With no panties. It was warm. And somehow you don't think that is wrong. I hadn't done laundry. Somehow you don't think that is wrong. He didn't notice it's fine. No, that, it's not fine. I 
Unfucking believable. He just but you love me. About how hot his neck was. Yeah, alright, whatever. What? You complained about me not in the phone and you keep hanging up. Well, um, does it does it matter what I care about? I mean, all you want to do is park your pussy on Carter's neck. What? All you want to do is park your pussy on pussy on Carter's neck. Why? Why do I want to even answer the damn phone? He didn't even notice. It was like five minutes. Yeah. Um, I noticed. Thanks. Appreciate that a lot. What? Without you have learned the lesson that I don't mind talking about, and right now I count my blessings that have had this time to figure it out as we get going through all our changes and down the ends and down. Jamie, there is one thing I know for certain. I don't, I don't want, I don't want to sleep with that you in my mind. I don't want to go through our last together with the past no, taking up shit. all our time your own. No problem taking me to leave my car. I don't want to suck without bra now while I had never seen a couple without problems in their relationships can take and work truck. Happening to time and that we have traveled has been winding end up if I love has remained the same girl and I am certain I don't want to live without you beside me. I don't want to sleep with a girl. I don't want to go through a lot together with the past taking up all our time. I know who I've had before blood taken me up you, but the thing that won't leave my... Okay. I know what I wrote in the song. Doesn't mean I'm going to be happy about you telling, telling me what happened about him getting on his neck. I think I heard Will yelling. I knew I heard something in the background. Damn, he ripped another poster up. Son of a bee. Well, you're dead. See, if you were here, in your own house... more like a dad than he does. If you were here in your own house, you'd be able to have whatever post you wanted up. You act more like a he dad would, than he does. He wouldn't be walking in and ripping it up. Wait, hold on. What? Daddy will please don't do that. Do what? Rip my poster. No, fuck that. I'm not looking at his warty, hem uh, herpy ball sack anymore. Doesn't need to be on the walls, Jamie. We're sick of it. Enough with the herpy sack, okay? We all know where the bump came from. I'm tired of seeing it. Why is he doing a kissy face, too? What is this? Is he on the phone? Hello, Lauren? Yeah, I'm on the phone, Will. Yeah, what? Why did you I make her print you. those? Why did you make her do that? I didn't make her print them, why, Will. You, she you did that such on, a bad influence. She on did her? that on her own, Will. She Lord. did. She printed them on her own, and I already told you it weren't fucking herpes. What the fuck you doing saying it is herpes? And you know where it came from? Hey, Lauren, you're you're influencing her to print these fucking posters, and I'm sick of it. I'm not influencing her to print them. 
You're influencing her. I she didn't even know that she printed them. She never. I even told you that I did not want her to, to, to put them on the walls. I didn't even know she printed them until she surprised me with them. She keeps putting them all over the house. And she never, Lauren, she never did anything like this until she started talking to you. Seems like you're influencing her. Until she started talking her. to me. Seems like you're influencing until, her. Until she started talking to me. Well, she's been, we've been together for eight months. So? She's never done like anything like that before. I know. She's I have no idea time. why she started doing that. You must have really been pushing it on her to make posters. Uh, why are you oh, such a bad influence? Why can't you just let her be? I didn't, I, didn't even, I didn't even know she made fucking posters. She was the one that surprised me with it. Just because I made posters of her. Yeah, it sounds like you put a lot of pressure on her to make posters, and then she went out and did it, and now she's got 15, well, not anymore, but 15 of your well, ball sacks. I did not even tell her to make posters. I told her I made posters of her. Yeah, you're influencing her. It's pretty obvious. I, uh, okay, whatever you say, Will, because you know it all. I do. You know what else? I'm so tired of seeing your ball you, sack covered in herpes. Go, go get that I'm so out, fucking bro. tired of you constantly having to fucking think you have to be around Jamie 24-7 20, for oh. eight fucking months the whole time that me and her are together. Oh, I'm around her 24-7? Oh, I'll do that. Hey, Jamie, can I my bed in here? Why not, Will? You did it in the fucking hospital. They made us, dummy. No. Well, yeah, yeah, back when you yeah. were fucking married, you, yeah, you fucking slept yeah. beside each other, yeah. and your wife slept on the other side of Jamie. Tell me that's not fucked up. Yeah, well, yeah, well. Yeah, yeah well. Yeah, well. Her fucking password is your name. Your password is her name. When How I fucked say, up is that shit? When did I say her password was my, my password was her name? You didn't, but I had to fucking guess. It probably was. Oh, more yeah. So you like to just make things up in your head, and it's fact, huh? Okay. What are you What are you gonna do? Jamie, you gonna move up here, Will? Jamie, you're gonna move up here, Will, and I think that you're gonna stay with us forever. That's hey, not gonna fucking happen. Hey, Lauren, I don't want to be your best man anymore. I'm tired of looking at your herpy balls, and I'm tired of you influencing. I don't want my you to be friend. my best man, Will. All you want to do is fucking pry it into my fucking life. I'm tired of I'm tired of you influencing my best friend. Okay, I'm tired of you telling her what to do. Your best friend, Will. That's my fiance, Will. Okay, bro. So what do you think? You think her best friend should come first or her fiance? I think that Jamie should come first, and you clearly don't think about that. You just think about yourself because you're selfish. Uh, really? Yeah. yeah. Of course I am, Will. You are. I'm, I'm selfish because hey, you've been in phone? our, because you have been in our relationship longer than we have. Hey Jamie, can you just open your text messages? Let's just see what he said before this call. Let's see what happened. Oh, you're gonna be nosy now. Oh, what's this donkey? Con Go figure. Oh, you're yelling Mr. at her. Mr. Questionnaire. You're, you're Mr. Yelling questionnaire at her? wants to be fucking nosy and look on my fiance's phone so he can see the text that me and her sent to each other. Oh, you're yelling at her about a video you're game. You're talking, talk about fucking getting into, prying into somebody's life, Will. You're, you're yelling. Find your own fucking life, man. You're. Find your own fucking woman. You're, you're yelling at her about a video game. Real nice one, real caring and loving. You're a piece of shit. I'm fucking real. You're a piece of shit. You're fucking, you're a fucking jackass. Oh, good one. Hello. And then you have to decide, Jamie, because it's me or it's this cocksucker. Okay, I'm tired of him. Oh, he said something, Will. Again, you're trying to influence her to break up with me. Is that what, why? Why, you? What was that? Why, Will, have you been jealous for eight fucking months? Is that why you can't fucking leave her? What'd you say? Sorry, you just got put on speaker. Did you just say I'm influencing uh, her? That's you. You're the influencer. You're Making influencing her, posters, her, Will. Telling her what you're to trying do. to control her. No, I'm not. You are. You yeah, you me. are. Hey, dipshit. You you fucking, you fucking you control everything sucker. she does. You're the one that fucking told her the other night that she should break up with me. Yeah, she should. You're a piece That's of shit. That's why you've been in our relationship more than we have. You're a terrible partner. You can't, you, you fucking tears you up to fucking leave her. No, it's because you're a terrible partner. That somebody partner. else might fucking have her. No, it's because you're a terrible partner. You then why haven't shit. you even tried to find your own fucking woman, Will? What? You don't know what I've been doing, you piece of shit. Uh, really? Really. That's why Jamie's, Jamie's first, but you're not out trying to find a fucking woman. So because I put my best friend first, that means I'm not looking for a romantic uh, per like interest. You're an idiot. Have you been? You're a fucking idiot. Have you been? You're an idiot. Have you been, Will? Yes, I have, Have dumb you been, shit. Will? That's my personal life. It's you know none of your business. You, you know why you keep saying that? Because you're fucking lying. You it's, haven't been. It's 
none of your fucking business. It is when you're fucking right there with my fiance hey, all the time trying hey, to get her to hey, break up with hey, me. Hey, hey, stupid. Hey, 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 hey fuck not. Hey, fucking that, fuck not. Fuck nuts? God, you, you got the mentality of a child. Good luck talking to your fiance without my fucking phone, you piece of shit. Oh, uh, gee, how did I know you use that threat? But she's your best friend, so she comes first, right? Yeah, hey, Jamie, I don't want you around this piece of shit anymore. He's garbage, he treats you like shit, and he assumes things. I don't like it. Assumes things? Yeah. Really? Well, wouldn't hey. you want to be next to my, hey, with my fucking fiance constantly? Hey, hey, tough guy. Hey, tough guy. She's still in love what with her guy? ex, Maggie Joe. She doesn't want to be with you, you fucking idiot. You're blind. Really? Hey, ask her. Okay, hey Jamie, do you still want to be with Maggie Joe? Oh, what, Jamie? Cat got your tongue. You can't answer. She just said, "I want to be face deep in that right now." How about that, Warren? How about that? Yeah. Well, she's told me that before, anyway. <clears throat> okay. Thanks for proving my point. Uh, what point does that prove? She's still in love with uh, with Maggie Joe, so she's in love with me too. Who said she's in love you with you? You know she's not going to have Maggie Joe. Has she said she's in love she, with you? When's the last time she told you? She said it before I did, Will. Right. When has she said it lately? Hey, Jamie, we, you want to solve this problem? What, is she, what does she need to solve? That you're a cowardly... Cowardly, Will... You're fucking, you're fucking blood sucking off my fiance, you stupid fuck. How am I blood sucking? Explain. Where's your own place, Will? I live at Maggie Joe's with her, who is also not her house. You exactly, stupid idiot. Exactly, Will. Hey, stupid exactly, idiot. Exactly, Will. Hey, stupid Where idiot. Where have you been fucking living for the last eight fucking months? Maggie Joe's house. One month out of our fucking relationship, Maggie you Joe's. have had your own place. Seven months after that? You've always been with Jamie. Hey, hey, Lauren, where is your where is your fiance? You've been blood like an off Jamie since then. Hey, Lauren, you inherited your trailer from your aunt. Come on, Debbie. Go find a fucking real job. You inherited a trailer from your aunt. Shut up about blood sucking, you piece of shit. For, from my well, actually, it was from my uncle. But yeah, that. sure it was. I, I bought the land, Will. Right. I bet it was probably given to your mom. Hey. She gave it to you because she felt sorry for you. Blood no, actually, I bought the land. I bought the land, and I I'm fixing the, the fucking trailer up so it's an trailer. actual fucking house, Will. I said the trailer. I've got my own shit, Will. Oh, you bought unemployment, I've, you bought I've got, unemployment I've right? Got my, yeah, I, I've got oh, yeah. unemployment. What's yeah, the fight? You know what I had to do blood to get sucker. that, Will? I had to fucking work to get that. Blood sucker. You Holy work, shit. You don't work for unemployment, dumb shit. I had to work to get unemployment. Oh my God. In order to get unemployment, you have to work to build it up, Will. Because oh, I've never had you a job before. You know this if you actually Lauren. fucking work. I actually have a job right now, dummy. Do you? Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> you know that shit if you actually worked, Will. I, I've had a job. I just said that. You're not listening. You're just fucking yeah, yammering about you, nothing. You, you, you haven't putts, fucking had a job. You dunce. You ain't had you a fucking job for fucking long Adult. ass fucking time. Excuse me? You haven't had a job for a long ass fucking time. That's incorrect. I'm employed right now, you fucking moron. Yeah, you're employed right now. And what do you do, Will? Well, I can't do half of my job because you made it so I can't. So it doesn't matter. I own, ha oh, I own a third of the business, uh, Lauren. I own a third of a business. Do you, uh, do you own a business? Yeah. <laughs> do you own a business? Do you own a business? <laughs> Answer the fucking question. Your fucking job is tearing down my fiance's posters? Yeah. Sure, that's my job, Lauren. Yeah, I go around and rip posters of fucking yeah. hemorrhoidy, hemorrhoidy will. balls all the time. I go around and I find pictures of this idiot with a kissy face and his fucking stupid crooked dick and his warty balls. And I go around and I rip them You don't like it? Job. Stay out of her fucking room! Uh, no. I'll do what I want. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Hey, Jimmy, come here. Kiss so me. You, get, you walk into her... What'd you just say? What? What'd you just say? I said, hey, Jamie, come here, kiss me. Really? Yeah. It's okay, you can get closer. What? Hello. What? I'm sorry. 
Jimmy, he's your fucking friend. You got fucking friends that want to do that kind of fucking bullshit? Are you fucking kidding me? Loon, don't be silly. <laughs> that kind of fucking friend right there is one of the most worthless fucking friends I have ever fucking heard of. Useless, worthless, worthless, and just fucking completely fucking disgusting. Don't say that about him. No, well, kind of too late. He's the one that did it. Well, he's upset you treat me so poorly. Well, Jamie, we've gone over this a hundred times. You know, the, this fucking this fucking relationship that you have with Will Lord. is fucking retarded. Lord. What? Go get a condom. No, I'm not getting a fucking condom right now. That, that's no. I mean, and he's right. You haven't fucking you told me you love me for. I didn't want to. Yeah, well, you know, the shit's fucking happened here that has made me not fucking feel like doing that right now. There's and he's right, you haven't, told me, you haven't told me you fucking love me forever, but you fucking tell Will and you tell Maggie Jo. You know, how do you think that makes me There's feel? So much juice. I'm not getting off the subject, Jamie. There There's are things so to fire, juice. fucking... There are things to fucking talk about, and I'm not getting the heart off... off fucking any fucking juice right now the woman I'm in love with is fucking got some some piece of I shit fucking friends not my fault you don't listen well I don't care for for your fucking friend to try to do something like that I mean you try to try fucking making out with you did, did you did you let him make out with you I'm not there. I don't know what the fuck is going on. For him to even fucking say something like that or feel free to say something like that. That's just complete fucking horse shit. Oh my goodness, he was kidding you, jealous man. Well, Jamie, that's not a fucking joke when he fucking does some stupid shit like that. The only reason I, didn't, I knew it wasn't going to get mad. The only reason that I knew it wouldn't go anywhere is because I trust you. Right. That's the only reason I answered the fucking phone because I trust you. This bullshit with them is not a fucking joke. You've got him way too fucking close to you. And you've got Maggie Joe way too fucking close to you. She should not know a fucking thing about me. Much less me fucking own my mother money. That's, that's nothing for anybody to know. I didn't even have to tell you that. But you're my fiance and I did. I'm listening on it, but I just can't, I can't get into it right now. I fucking love you and then fuck you. <laughs> Come on, let's do it. I can't do it right now, honey. I can listen to you, but I can't do it right now. I love you so fucking much. Um. She said, I love you so fucking much, and it's fucking that's it. 
That was hard. That was really hard hard for me. Heaven will fucking sit and do that shit. You know, I really fucking... I really cared about Will, too, until you started... Until you fucking did that. Why are you crying? Because I just lost a good fucking friend and I'm fucking... It's fucking doing that shit. Fucking. Talk to Will tomorrow. Clearly things are fine. I have his phone right. Yeah. Are you still crying? Yeah, because I'm upset about the whole thing. About the posters? No, honey... You know, I would much rather you keep the posters to yourself. I didn't know any that you were hanging them all over the place and shit. I put one on the polar bear. <laughs> Why would you do that? It's fun. I don't want to share myself with the other people. I want to share myself with just you. Lorne, don't get mad. I made free posters of your asshole when you were on your roof. What? You made what? I made free posters of your asshole when you were on your roof. Of my asshole? How how would you get my asshole? You sent it. Not when I was on a roof. Yes. Jamie, throw them away. Come on, you're doing Winnie kind of bullshit. Stop comparing me to her. What? I'm sorry I said that. I don't know how else to explain that. You should be. I don't know how else to explain it, though. That's not stuff in the kind of stuff that you would normally I do. I like the photo. Apparently, I'm like her. <sighs> But I don't want you showing everybody. 
Fine, hold on. What? Oh, gladly. Yeah, they'll go in the fire pit tonight. All of them. Give me all of them. Stop stashing them. Give me them all. Thank you. MJ, Maggie Joe, please don't hit me for saying that. We got all the posters. We're burning them tonight. Stop printing them. There you go, Lord. Thank you, honey. You're the only one I want to share my pictures with. I don't want anybody else seeing me. It means a lot to me that you're the only one that sees me. Go get a condom. I still don't want to get a condom right now, honey. Fine, I'll do it alone. A lot has happened tonight. It's an upsetting night. Fine, I'll do it alone. Fine, I'll do it alone. That's how my past week has been. I know, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Right. I am, honey. You won't see that anymore. Who fixes everything? Huh? Who fixes everything? Come fixes everything. Well, tomorrow night I'll do it. I know I will. I know I want to. Just right now, I'm just too upset. Boom for me, bear. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Let's have a night like we used to have. Please, copy. Tomorrow night, honey. Let's have a night like like we used to have tomorrow night. Like really, really have a night like we used to have. Fine, I'm going to back to Donkey Kong. Okay. Okay, honey. Before you go. Oh. Before you go, I want to ask you a favor. What? Please help me keep my head clear of, of bullshit. No. Because I am trying so hard to get this house done as much as I can before you get here. And I have to concentrate on the teardown house, too. And, what an odd request, job. Copy. Huh? What an odd request, Copy. A what? <laughs> oh, the other thing I thing I was going to tell you was I'm not sure if I'll be able to keep this job or not. Because that class is in Bangor and the guy only does it from 7 to 4. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get into the class in Augusta that's on Saturday and one that's on Monday night in Waterville 
but I don't know if they're going to allow me to do that because I have to go through probation. And the lady said that probation doesn't usually like to change uh, jurisdiction things on that. Not jurisdiction, but, well, I guess it kind of is jurisdiction, but. But so I, I don't know what's going to happen yet. But I'm trying to get that lady to be able to change me to Waterville or Augusta. Then my job, my job would starts at seven o'clock in the morning and go until I'm done. It's eight hours a day, sometimes nine hours a day, sometimes seven hours a day. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know what's going to happen yet, but I'm trying to be able to get in the gaster or, or Waterville. In this class here, because of where they change contractors, where Dwayne lost contract, Dwayne would just call me and be about 10 minutes on the phone. This class here, I got to actually do the class over telephone for an hour and a half. So I have to be alone for an hour and a half doing it. And I don't know if it's going to be on Tuesday or if it's going to be on Thursdays. Huh? What? What'd you say? It sounded like you said Rocky. What? What did you say? What? It sounded like you said Rocky. What? Honey, come on. Rocky. I still didn't. Run, I still didn't understand it. it. Still sounded like you said Rocky. I was what Jesus Christ. Huh? He was watching I Jesus was Christ. I was Jesus Christ. Oh. Uh, I don't. Know. Go ahead and play Donkey Kong. We'll talk tomorrow. I'm gonna. W H O T. Huh? W H A T. Yeah, what? Wah. So, go ahead and play Donkey Kong and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Capital T. <laughs> I mean, capital Not K. T. Capital K. Capital K. I love you, Jamie. Night, Good night, honey. I love you. If you were here right now, precious, I would be inside of you. This call was brought to you by the Lawn World Order. For life.